Hello everyone, this is Danny from creatingawebstore.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a reflection effect in Photoshop. So to start, simply open the image that you would like to create a reflection on. Then simply look in the layers window here and make sure that the layer is unlocked. In my case the layer is locked so I will double click on it to unlock it. Now simply go to layer and left click on duplicate layer now you can enter in a new name or leave it as is. I will just leave it as is and click OK. Now simply go to Edit, Transform and then left click on Flip Vertical. Next I will need to remove the background of the image. Note that I will be using the Magic Wand tool because the background is easily distinguished from the foreground. If uh, you cannot remove the background with the Magic uh, Wand tool you can always use the background eraser tool. If you do not know how to use the background eraser tool I actually have a video on this so you can always check out my other videos and watch it. So now I will simply select the background and I will go to edit and I will left click on clear. And now I will just uh, select the crop tool and click anywhere on the image to get rid of the selection. And now I will simply move the image down with the move tool and I will align it with the original image. Note that uh, the original image isn't on a straight line so uh, these two parts won't meet. If your image is straight and if it meets properly you do not have to edit uh, the image at all. In my case I actually have to warp it so that it looks right. So I will go to edit and then I will go to transform and I will left click on warp. So now I will warp the image And now I will click on the crop tool so that the changes take effect. And now what I will do next is I will actually select the layer and then I will click on add layer mask. It's the square with the circle in the middle. And then I will go to the gradient tool. Note that you might have the paint bucket selected. If you do simply right click and left click on gradient tool and now simply select your pattern. I will be choosing this pattern right here the foreground to background and now I will draw a straight line I simply hold down the left button and drag and then when I reach the bottom I simply release but note that the color is a little rich so it doesn't look uh, real so what I will do is I will make sure that my layer is selected and then I will lower the opacity from 100% to 50% and now it looks much better. So thanks for watching, stay tuned for more videos and also be sure to check out creatingawebstore.com.